Hi fellow key shooter. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a ticking second hand on a watch face. So when finishing this video, you will be able to create an animation like this. I'm not going to cover the entire scene setup of this um, animation, but, but only the animation part. So let's dig right into it. I have downloaded the model from the site modelplusmodel.com. They have a free section. So go ahead and do that. And then I have imported it into Keyshot and applied the textures using the, the maps that comes with the model and um, mapping type UV co coordinates. Um, everything is set up into place from the beginning. So to animate this second hand, uh, we have to do some setup stuff first because when you click on the model, you will see that it is one entire part. So to split it up, I am going to right click on it on the model and go into the edit geometry. This opens up the uh, geometry editor and I want to split separate objects. So select that and click next and Go in here in the geometry view and select the second hand and say split object. Besides uh, separating the second hand, I also want to separate this cinder piece here in the, uh, in the center of the clock face that we can use as a pivot point for this second hand. So select that and say split object and hit done. So when you select the uh, second hand, you can see that it's a separate piece now. And we also have the center piece. Time for animation. Open up the animation bar and uh, click animation wizard. Here we select that we want to do a rotation. And then we select the second hand. You can do it like here in the tree or in the scene and hit next. And then we got to look at the rotation settings here. So if we scrub through the timeline, you'll see that uh, it's not looking correct. So maybe we need another axis, not this. This looks better, but the pivot point is like in the center of this piece and we want it to be this one. So open up the pivot point menu and uh, click on pick. And again, in the view, select this center piece and hit OK. So now this is, is used as uh, the pivot point for the second hand. We might have to change the axis again. And uh, Let's try with Y and see how that looks. And it is exactly what we want. Instead of rotating 90 degrees, we want it to rotate just six because that's the amount of degrees uh, for one second. Um, we have 360 degrees in total and we want to divide that over 60 seconds. So we end up with six degrees. So that's it for the basic settings and hit finish. Right now it's like moving slowly over 30 frames, but we want it to be just something like two frames. Let's zoom in just a bit. Yeah, two frames. Let's show the rest of the clock as well. So this is like the uh, basic animation and you could Go ahead and stop here. Just do a few duplicates. One for each second. Um, let's just add one more so we can uh, do like this. All right. So looks good, but maybe it looks a bit uh, dead and not too realistic. And that is because of the fact that nothing in real life is perfect. Nothing is moving like just 
these six degrees and then stopping there's always some kind of lag or overshooting or like acceleration and deacceleration and stuff so to make this look a bit more realistic we are going to uh, overshoot it a bit and then in one frame get it back to the right position let me show you what i mean instead of uh, moving six degrees we are going to move it eight degrees and then do a duplicate move that afterwards and shrink it to one frame only and then have it moving in the opposite direction two degrees so the total amount of degrees moved in these three frames will be the six degrees that we need for one second so now the hand moves forward eight degrees and then backwards two degrees and um, that's exactly what i have done in this uh, this animation that i showed you in the beginning the clock is moving eight forwards and then two backwards and this uh, this effect becomes especially convincing when you add the motion blur to it as well when rendering it out all there is left to do is to add these two into a uh, folder let's just call it one sec and now you can right click and duplicate it and do that as many times as you want seconds in your animation it's a bit hard to see the effect here in the playback but as soon as you will render it out you will be able to to really see the effect that's it for this short animation tutorial i hope you learned a few trigger two from it and uh, i hope you can apply it to some other projects as well if you're new to this channel feel free to hit the subscribe button and the small clock afterwards to make sure you get all the notifications and uh, as always until next time take care